hey folks, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to delete duplicates in a very large library um, and we're going to make sure that we don't actually delete the file underneath it. For example, here uh, we have uh, what looks like a duplicate but the um, reference to the same file. So if I were to do what I showed you in my previous method, delete the duplicate and move it to the uh, delete it and move it to the trash with option command delete, it would also delete the reference for the first file. So we don't want to do that. But first of all, how do we look at the duplicates? First of all, select all my music, all of your music, and then go to view and click show duplicate items. In my case, that's only 658 items. That can create quite a bit of confusion. Um, and so I usually recommend starting from the top. Um, but here, we're already here. So you use the command button, a command, and then you click, and then you select the duplicates. That's actually the easiest way of doing it. Um, here we go. Make sure, because if you look at it this way, what if, if you say monkey business here, right? Um, make sure it's not a different mix, because we have here the original mix, then have the DJ Bam Bam remix. So that's kind of important um, not to overlook. All right, um, this, and these things sometimes happen by double importing, um, residual moving libraries from A to B. There's a number of reasons. I have to do a little bit more research why it could happen. Um, in my case, what happened where there's so many of them, but this feature to locate them is definitely handy. So I'm going through them here. There we go. Yep. yep. Let's see if this is the same remix here. Yep. So you have a few F26 selected, and this is gonna take a while. Um, and now I'm hitting the delete button. I'm gonna hit delete songs. I wanna keep the files, right? So if I now go to, what was it, monkey business? All right, so now let's see, let's play that back. Monkey business, we know we deleted it. Um, it's still here, hopefully. Oh, yep. All right, good enough. It's still here. And obviously, as you can see, I got a lot of those um, to zap. Um, it's something you can do while you're listening to some radio or a podcast or an audiobook. Um, and you keep doing it. Um, I don't think that's a task that you need to complete in one go. Um, see, also one thing I want to see, I have here three duplicates and I rated them. So iTunes treats them separately, even though they reference back to the same file. But I had four plays here, three plays here. I have different ratings. So I'm probably going to stick to the one that I listened um, to the file I clicked on the most, which is this one. I gave it three stars and the other two I'm going to delete um, the entry in the log. This is really keep files. This is really what it is. It's an entry in, it's a log book, All right? Okay. Um, I think uh, just before I bore you completely, I'm gonna stop. Um, just a word, you know, keep your hard drive organized. Um, delete what you don't need. If there's actual files that you don't want, like I said before, you can actually delete them fully and completely. And uh, that way keeping the computer happy and not having to upgrade all the time. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe.